guys today's video is going to be about my work um, planner and that is my Filofax A5 um, patent domino in pink so I'm going to show you my setup for this particular planner and this is um, the pouch where I am keeping it um, I ordered it online in a, from a local Instagram seller her name is um, Chrisella09 in Instagram so uh, this is made of cloth this is um, I'm not really very sure about the exact name of the cloth or the material the fabric but this is um, fabric and the buttons are like wood so there um, I always bring this to work so most of the time this is what I am holding so again this is an A5 size so look at that gorgeous pink color okay so this is dedicated to just um, lesson planning or any kind of work related things because as most of you guys know I'm um, I'm a high school English teacher so I do a lot of lesson planning and this is really working for me um, having two separate you know planners is really working for me so I've got this one as my work planner and I've got Penny Bridge and Raspberry compact size that's my on-the-go planner slash wallet so I already made um, a video yesterday about that and so this time I'm going to show you my setup for my work planner so the pink patent domino is um, like high gloss material so and, um, there's pink stitches all over and this is the sides and of course the Filofax logo over there and this is um, the um, the binder and I'm still having this um, little charm that has my initials so as you open my my work planner this is what you're going to see so this um, A5 size patent pink domino has this um, slant full size pocket or slot so I just put some random paper here and some stickers that I will be able to use you know and some um, washi tape samples so there and of course as you guys know in all my planners in all my file effects planners I do not remove the the protective sheet so I just let it stay there and then um, you will see the usual uh, fly leaf and the file effects uh, inserts and then this is my um, dashboard so this is where I keep all the sticky notes that I will need for this planner um, I'm using a lot of this in this particular planner I don't know but it's working for me so I've been using a lot of this one because I don't want I want to use um, my Sharpie markers my Sharpie ultra fine line um, ultra fine point markers so if I use that in the usual Filofax inserts it will really bleed through so I thought of just using the sticky notes that I have because I have a bunch and I haven't used most of them so I thought of you know why not use them why not stick them on the, the inserts and then write on them instead of you know directly writing through the Filofax inserts and it's working for me real good so there um, okay so there you go this is the front part of my dashboard and this is the back part where I also keep a bunch of sticky notes that I am using so 
these are not just for display I am really using all of them so there I'm really liking the the film type and the thin ones because it's really suited for the the spaces of the file effects inserts so as you can see I am into this kind this thin of um, sticky notes but of course these ones also work well especially these ones um, the size is really very good okay so I use my another um, Hello Kitty paper clip which came from if I'm not mistaken from Jessie Zo 1023 in Instagram and she sent me a bunch of this I'm not sure how many pieces but I think four or five pieces so I'm using this one to um, put these usual inserts together because you know who knows I might be able to use these conversions and I'm also using this arrow um, paper clip which I got from I'm not sure if, if from teacher Chinky or a friend in Instagram not really very sure anyway so there um, I'm clipping the the um, the other week on two pages that have already passed so just for a reference so I do not remove them yet and as you can see I have really been using the the sticky notes and these stickers are from teacher Chinky or Leona Chinky in Instagram um, these work wonders for me especially those for those days like Saturday and Sunday where we do not have work so because of that I do not have anything to write on that particular day Saturday and Sunday so um, I thought of just putting a sticker on those dates so there and as you can see um, this one I put it here on a Monday because it was a holiday here so no work so I just put it there and then as you can see those sticky notes that I've been you know using I'm really obsessed right now with these kind of sticky notes that I use in this particular planner so again Saturday and Sunday just stickers and then here I I use the big ones not really big but you know not the rectangular ones and here's more and here's more and for this week since it's SEM break as you can see SEM break semestral break here in the Philippines um, I do not have anything uh, well I have quite a few tasks for work which I have already done because I want to really relax and you know take this time to to rest so there and I have not um, decorated next week yet but I have already plotted um, my lesson plan my my lessons for next week because next week we'll be going back to school we'll go back to work so there and that's by the way that's the first part that's the first divider that I have for this planner and it says here lesson plans so there and the next part or the next divider would be um, meeting wherein I write down all the meeting um, agenda so this is where I put them I write them so this part and then the next divider would be important so here I write um, documents and paper that um, you know that need to be submitted on a, on a specific day so I put it here in the important divider and next uh, part would be my to buy wherein I write all my school supplies that all the school supplies that I need to buy um, to replenish my stock in 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 at work in school so like for example red ball pens for checking or probably you know um, 
palette friction pen for writing lesson plans you know so all those stuff um, refills uh, scotch tape so all those stuff for, for work school supplies that's where I put it or write it down so that and then this part is misc or miscellaneous wherein um, instead of um, using the word notes I just use misc for miscellaneous so I write down all um, random thoughts and ideas um, about work so for example there's a, a literary contest or spelling contests all the brainstorming ideas I write it down here and the last part would be contacts and of course you all know what contacts are so there that's the last part and then I have this cloth pocket divider that I got from teacher Chinky um, I believe she ordered it online um, from a local Instagram seller so as you can see this is in cupcake design because um, if you guys follow me in Instagram um, I've been liking cupcakes a lot or any sweets macarons donuts cupcakes cakes so anything with that um, design so teacher Chinky gave me this and here in the pocket I keep some of my stickers the ones that I sh showed you earlier where I put in the Saturday and Sundays um, this idea was from teacher Chinky so she sent me this and then here I have some flags sticker flags that I got from Chrysala 09 in Instagram where I bought my pouches or my planner sleeves and here are some DIY or handmade stickers from teacher Chinky as well she stamped the masters um, the masking sticker set which I am also using in this particular planner so there and some more so that's what I put here um, the A5 size really has big rings huge rings so I can put anything I want like this one which I cannot do in my compact size um, Benny Bridge and the last part is the top loading um, divider where I just put some random um, paper and some of my me and my family's picture so there you go and then the last part at the back part I just keep my notepad here that says a note from teacher Ruby so I just this is what I put here and some random um, uh, sheets of paper right there and I'm using my Coletto pen my three barrel Coletto pen and this is what we only have here in our local bookstore the plain colored one so I believe some national bookstores have them in pink in white and in black but in the national bookstore where I went to I only saw white and blue so I you know I just chose blue and I also use my Sharpie black Hoja fine point um, I have quite a bunch of these um, of this um, type and I want really want to use them so that's the reason why I chose to to write on the sticky notes rather than directly um, directly writing on the file of facts inserts so there you have it um, everybody I hope you like this video and I will have another video probably sometime um, next week or next next week for some two of my new planners so I'll be doing a review about those so there you go thank you for watching everyone and I hope you're all having a great time and I hope you're having a great semester break as well in the Philippines for those um, Filipino um, Filofaxers over there thank you for watching have a good one bye